When we see small babies exploring their environment, one might wonder how much they really understand. Hey. One man who has stopped wondering is Gustav Gredebeck. His research reveals children's early intelligence. As it turns out, infants understand much more of their environment than previously thought. But every child is different and is good at different things. But is this something we carry with us into adulthood? Can one see already in infants what they will be good at later in life? Gustav's research team has taken on an extremely long-term challenge to follow over 100 children from infancy to adulthood in order to get the answers. We know that young babies have a very rich understanding of their social and, and physical world. But today we have a very limited understanding about what happens with this knowledge later in life. So with this project we aim to follow children over many years and see what these initial seeds of understanding provides later in life. Gustav Gredebeck lives just outside Uppsala with his family. He has three children himself. His youngest daughter, Inga, is two and a half years old. The fact that he himself is a parent has influenced his research. I have three children myself, but I was a researcher before I was a father. So, of course, my interest in developmental psychological research uh, predates me being a father. But now, when I play and interact with my children, I constantly see things that amaze and fascinate me, and many of these things end up in the lab as research projects. That Gustav would become a scientist was the furthest thing from his mind when he was in school. He never gave much time to schoolwork, and his grades reflected this fact. But while in high school, he had a teacher who got Gustav interested in psychology. This interest gave way to further studies at universities in Uppsala and Oslo. But focusing his research specifically on child development came as a result of a coincidence which today Gustav is grateful for. Having entered this field, I very quickly realized that it was very interesting. And primarily I was captured by the ability that we have to target important questions for humanity. Uh, what, what are we born with and how are we shaped by our own experiences? Uppsala Child and Baby Lab are world leaders in child development research. There are 40 researchers under Gustav Gredebeck's leadership. Together, they have developed new, creative methods to study how young children explore and understand their environment. Here, for example, they measure brain activity with the help of an EEG device. In most of the studies we do, we look at behavior, either eye movements or, or reaching actions by children. And we do this with the goal of understanding the underlying mechanisms that cause children to understand and interpret their world. But in order to get a more direct measurement of that brain activity, we use EEG. And by this method, we're able to lock down on the mechanisms where in the brain and primarily when different type of processes occur. In another experiment, the child looks at different pictures. Under the TV is an eye tracking camera that records the child's eye movement. For example, when shown pictures of different quantities. If the child can distinguish where there are the most points, this would indicate an early understanding of mathematics but the eyes can reveal even more. The pupil of the child's eye widens if they see something that surprises them. For example, if instead of taking a spoon to the mouth, the researcher puts it on top of their head. The child's pupil will in turn show whether the child understands what is normal or not. In other tests, with the aid of eight motion cameras, one records in detail the child's hand movements. The child will try to catch a rolling ball. To be successful, the child has to be able to predict the ball's future position and then plan their own movement. The movement pattern can then be analyzed by a computer. For the child, this indicates their ability to predict the future. 
to consistently understand what will happen next. When processing visual information, it takes time for the brain to make sense of, of the stimuli that we receive. So if we want to stay on target and keep track of what other people are doing, we need to predict what is going to happen. We need to overcome this internal processing lag. So prediction is an, is an essential part uh, of being able to understand and make sense of other people's actions. Gustav's team will later relate this research with current social issues. This is done by examining the children in two particularly vulnerable groups. One is with depressed parents who may find it difficult to be sensitive to their children's needs. The second group is newly arrived refugees who, because of their experiences of war and famine, can have severe stress symptoms. Our aim if, is in both of these cases to, if we can provide a better understanding of uh, the specific problems that these children have, we're able to target or provide information about where resources should be targeted in order to, to facilitate their, their lives. Gustav's team hopes to follow the children in their study right up through adulthood, and the knowledge gained from this research can lead up to the ability to change social norms. The overarching long-term goal of this research is to provide information that, that helps society to uh, better adjust for small children, where all children can grow up to, be, uh, to feel safe, to develop strongly and to be curious about their environment. Mm -hmm.